The breadth and scope of the global supply chain implicates a multitude of national governments, authorities, and agencies. In the international community, we have the IMO, ICAO, and the WCO, as well as the Universal Postal Union, or the UPU for postal cargo. So one of our challenges in strengthening security is the need to unify our efforts across previously separate entities. During the past six months, I have discussed the global supply chain security issue with a number of key trading partners from Canada to India, and as of this morning, with the European Union itself. And we have reached declarations of our intent to collaborate even more closely to secure the global supply chain. Now, I was here in Brussels in early January uh, to meet with uh, Secretary General McCurea and to outline three key goals in a redoubled global supply chain security effort. One, preventing exploitation of a supply chain. Two, protecting its system, system, systemically critical elements, those without which the system cannot function. And three, enhancing the resiliency of the system, meaning the system's ability to minimize and to bounce back from any possible disruption. Since that time, the United States and many other countries and partners have worked collaboratively through the WCO and other multilateral organizations to achieve these goals by developing new security measures and advancing global guidelines and standards. So now, six months later, we meet again, and it is a good time to review accomplishments, recommit to the shared vision of a secure, efficient, and resilient system, and identify key areas for future action.